Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today I want to introduce you to Texture Deco Designer and what it does is inside its name, it designs texture decals. So the reason why I created this add-on is because when I was using my other add-on called Quick Decals, which you can get off of Blender Market, I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to get it. And what this add-on does is simply gets an image like this and then wraps it onto any surface and you can add alpha mass like that uh, to kind of make it a bit older. You can even add uh, roughness or dirt onto the surface uh, like you see, so you get those damage on to any surfaces and you can even use this uh, for texturing but uh, this video is not really about this I don't know I'm just trying to show you why I created the texture deco designer add-on here uh, so when I was using this add-on the quick decals add-on I realized that uh, you have to have these surfaces or these decals already designed for you or you have to purchase them off other places for example if you do a quick search of texture decals uh, you can see that I'm talking about you have to have these graphics already designed for you for you to use them which can be expensive if you need to buy them and just getting them off of Google, you're really getting high resolution images with an alpha mask or transparency. If you don't want to buy them from another artist, then you have to resort to using Photoshop and design these decals yourself, which can take a lot of time. And if you don't have Photoshop already, that means you also need to subscribe to an Adobe subscription, adding another monthly expense to your bill. So for those who don't want to go through that trouble, this quick deco designer is for you. So what if, for example, say I wanted to design this uh, stop sign, I would just go to the add-on. The add-on already comes with some inbuilt shapes uh, that you can start right away with. Uh, for example, if I go to design stroke use mode, uh, I can start with some custom made elements here. Say I want to create an exit sign. If I can start with uh, maybe this add to scene and you see it gives you a curve element like this uh, that you can easily change and uh, adjust. So I'll be adding more shapes and updating the add-on as we go. And uh, if you buy the add-on like right now, you, you will get those updates for free as well. So if you want to change this, you can change it easily because it's a curve and I have this material set up. So, so for example, if I want to make this a different color, I can also do that. So let's say we want to use a reddish color like that. I can add in that and then I can also get a text element Let's say this and uh, add it somewhere there. Just scale it down a bit. Exit, maybe emergency, exit. This is a text object or a font object that comes with Blender. So anything you do here, you can adjust. You can adjust the settings here. You can even select a different font. You can use all the settings you have available for any te for text objects inside Blender. So I can say space this out using the character spacing, uh, something like that, something like this. Uh, maybe there, have it. Maybe just grab this, have this here. I can even make this a bit darker. So I just change a different color, change it to a different color, make it black, it, make it black like this. And uh, you can even create your shapes, but uh, let me first show you how you can use this. Let's say this is what we want. Uh, maybe let me change this uh, to a white color. I can render this out. Uh, so if I go to save image, if I want to save this as a texture image uh, to use later, I can go into this and uh, hit render image. And I uh, see what I get here. I get the camera and you have to adjust the camera a bit uh, so that uh, you can get all the elements you want to have in your scene. So maybe something like that, hit render again and you will see. The so this preview here is just a quick preview for what you're getting. But uh, if you want to really see how the final thing is going to look, just go subdivide any viewport area and uh, go to image viewer or image editor and look and look at how the render results, you see how everything will come out. So if you want to make this 4K, 5K, you have control here. You have options to make use of transparency. So if I want this to have an alpha channel, I just have to turn on show uh, transparency and then render again and you see that uh, I will have the transparency uh, there. So now after that, you can save you can save this wherever you want. So let me save this to my desktop and let me say something like, I'll just write that. I can see I've already created a few decals already. Then here you're just saving it as a normal texture. So if I want to reuse uh, that this image as a texture, all I have to do is come to design stroke use mode and go to use decals and I can see I can navigate the different decals. Uh, so you see I have a few other images here uh, that are not really decals because what this does is uh, it just, for example, I save this, this decal into a folder called decals and if I want to go to that folder I just go to link new texture folder and uh, go to my desktop uh, decals and I can see I just have to link that and if it's linked successfully you see that uh, I'm able to access that texture but uh, if you have other images in there they will also be loaded in like you see when I switch to my uh, desktop now I can go back to my decals folder and if I want to use reuse this as a texture, I can choose to add it as a plane. 
So let me just it's going to add it as a plane uh, with some materials set up for me. So if I want to use it like so, but say I, wa I have a material. Let me let me just use my asset library uh, for to get a quick material here. Let me just use this. Uh, let me use this here. Let me use this. So this is a wall material and say, I let me go back to my uh, designer. Say I want to apply this uh, to this surface. As long as my, the object I've selected ha has a material and uh, use node is, is enabled, I can choose import as a texture and then that texture will be imported into my scene. You can see it's already there. It's already imported for you. And uh, if you're using node Wrangler to preview this, you can use control shift and then click on the node uh, to preview the image. And you can see, you can use it as another image, as an image. So I can, uh, because this image has an alpha channel, so I can just blend it with this image. So I can uh, just do a mix RGB and have this alpha as the factor, the alpha as the factor. And this can be color one, as you can see. And now you can see we have our texture over uh, the material and uh, can add in some texture coordinate mapping here. Uh, scale it down like this and you can see it works like any other texture now. So without even going switching to a different application, I've already designed something this within a few very, within a few minutes using custom shapes. Uh, but uh, you can also, I'm going to show you how to create your own shapes uh, to use in the application. And uh, again, you can use this as a regular texture. And uh, if you want, you can even use the alpha mask as the alpha map uh, for the texture. And if you're using EV, that means you would have to turn on uh, the alpha blend uh, mode to see uh, to see the results. And you can see and see what we have. That is how to use the, deco the decals you have designed yourself. But let's say you, you have created this shape, you have spent a few minutes to design your shape like this and uh, you have created the texture, but maybe you want in, in, in the future to reuse uh, this here, maybe Next time you can change it to say something like a 20 something, something, something like that. Say maybe you want a sign like that and I make it white. So basically you want to reuse uh, this in the future, but change it a little bit. What you can do is just go to the camera and uh, if, if you don't have this camera set up, you can uh, say you don't have any camera in the scene. You just have to go to, to the view where you're seeing it directly like this and uh, go to uh, Deco, Deco Designer, a render element and that uh, you have to select uh, the elements you want to save and then hit render deco and uh, then it will render the element for you. you just have to reposition the camera just a bit uh, to get everything and whenever you reposition the camera make sure you select the elements again we render and you can see we have we have the text this is just going to be a preview uh, what a preview of what you will see in the new icon previewer here yeah, so then maybe let's make this a little bit darker so that uh, everything is readable and uh, maybe make this. So it's basically works like Photoshop. So if you want to save this, you just select all the elements uh, that you want to save. And uh, then if you scroll down under, you can see there are a few other options you can use here. But uh, we want to save this as self-selected as reusable element. Uh, that way we can reuse it in the same way that we are reusing these shapes. Here, for example, if I want to re reuse this here, uh, something that I already designed, you can see how it looks and you can see how it looks here. So I can reuse this. Every element uh, that we want saved like that and uh, then save element. So you'll get this error if the project you're working in is not saved uh, because the add-on will use this file to fetch the elements you have saved into that file. So let's select everything again, maybe save and I'll just call this, I'll just save this anywhere, this folder, call it whatever, save, now, now save element. And before we even get to that, one thing you have to note is that uh, if you want to, if you want to have multiple libraries, uh, for example, there is a built-in library, there's also this other library I created for, for just testing, and I didn't name it anything, but I can switch to that, and you see that uh, the elements in that will also change, and uh, I will be able to reuse different elements. So depending on where you want to save this, you can create a new library, save. Because I have multiple objects selected, it will give me this prompt to create a collection so that it can organize things a little bit better. And uh, when it's importing, uh, let me just show you here uh, from something I've already created. So if I use, I, I need to switch back to the default, uh, to the built-in library uh, so that I can get this. 
you can see it, it imports the whole collection here as a linked object. And if you want to make changes, just see it, make selectable, and uh, then you can make changes to that. So I can call this, uh, I don't know, something like that. So that's why you see it prompts, it prompts you with uh, multiple objects selected. I convert, save them as a collection so that it can it can link it as a collection uh, that you can make changes to very easily. So just hit OK and then save the name. I can call this lab. Hit OK and you see we'll get a success uh, prompt uh, to show that uh, the element has been saved successfully. So you can see that uh, we have uh, the lab uh, the lab collection here saved and you just make sure that uh, you don't change it otherwise the add-on will not be able to find it in this blend file. Now what we can do is uh, if we want to reuse this I just have to open a new blend file or any project that I want to use this in and uh, then I can go back to the deco designer and switch to uh, it's called I think I saved it in folder one let's see what folder did I save this in I think I saved it in the built-in folder ah, you can see it's already here so I can add this and you can see it comes set up in yeah like that and I can make edits to this if I wanted to maybe something like that and uh, maybe scale this down say something like that and I want to render this as a texture again you go to save image you can see you have a few settings you want you can use here so i can re-render this again and then choose where i want to save and just save to the desktop or to my document save as image now you don't even have to save this project if you are not going to save this as a, a, a deco element so i'll just create a new project here and uh, go to my deco designer and uh, there is i can go to use and find uh, the folder so i save the image into the texted image into our uh, documents so i can go there it's here so i can use it as a plane just need to scale it a bit or use it within an object like this and you're not only lim limited to collections so for example if i go back to the folder i was creating so i think it was this where we have this i can create custom sh shapes for myself so for example maybe let me use this and i just give it uh, if i'm in the deco designer i can create a quick material uh, which gives me a nice color that is that doesn't depend on the lighting in the in the area so for example if i wanted to use this as a shape i can even add a modifier here some modifier so let's say a wireframe modifier maybe i want this to be a deco uh, that i can use anywhere else i can go to do the same steps just do a quick render of this. Just have to reposition uh, this. You select the object, re render, and you can see uh, the preview is going to be a bit distorted because this is a, just a limitation of how icons preview in the render view, but uh, in the viewport. Uh, but uh, the real image you can see in the final render, in the render results there. And now I can save this. As a deco as a reusable element and it's saved so i just have to open a new project and if i want to reuse that element anywhere find it there so that could have been a star it could have been any shape you want and now i can just go back to the designer and look for that add to scene and you can see it's added for me so and another thing if you're using if you have the quick deco designer you can do anything you can do anything with the textures uh, that you can do in deco designer so uh, so if you're using the deco designer again you can uh, say get any of the textures we have created uh, so let's say let's grab i think we can grab this add deco element let me just rotate it a bit and uh, maybe let's add a cylinder like this shade smooth so and maybe let me give it a material just so a quick material so that uh, you can easily see what's going on and why i'm doing this if i give it a quick material like that i can use it i can use the textures we created with the deco designer as in the quick deco add-on quite easily so i can add first minimize this i can add say i can even use the, uh, the shrink wrap as a feature here to wrap this onto the surface 
and you can see it's uh, wrapping onto the surface, but uh, it's, it's going inside the surface, so I can use the offset value, like so. And uh, it's a bit faceted, so I'm going to shade smooth uh, like that. Maybe scale it in a bit like that. It's too shiny for this surface, so I can go in out of the deco settings and uh, use alpha. And uh, if I s find a more interesting, uh, let me find a more interesting alpha channel here. So I can go to my something like this for the alpha. And I can play with uh, this. I have a few settings here. I'll do a full tutorial on uh, the deco add-on. But uh, this is just for demo for, for the deco designer. Uh, so I can play with the contrast here, play with the brightness, play with the contrast. Now it's just too shiny uh, for this surface. That's why you see things are not really looking uh, super, th don't really fit into the scene because of how shiny this surface is. So I can go into the deco designer again, into the, into the roughness settings, turn on roughness and select as a grunge map. And you can see now the element lo looks a little bit more integrated within the scene. And, uh, if you have other decos, you can load them in. Uh, this is another one I created on contrast to get a different uh, look. Maybe I, change, I can even change the color to something else. I, f I feel like, like uh, this is more integrated into the scene. I can even change another deco. Again, this is another deco I created. So yeah, so a combination of this add-on uh, the deco designer and the quick decos, uh, you will not really need a Photoshop uh, for something like this anymore. For something like this, because you can stay within Blender and uh, create everything uh, that you need. So, thank you for watching. Again, if you want to get the add-on, I'll be leaving a link in the description uh, for you to check it out. And uh, yeah, thank you for, for watching. See you later.